Hello again, folks. I, uh, the sun is shining. I just planted some potatoes. <laughs> All is well, and I hope it is for you too. Uh, if it happens to be gray and cold or, or uh, rainy where you are, I, give it a minute. I hope the sun comes out for you soon. Uh, today, I have another album opening to share with you. And I am uh, sort of excited, I'm going to say. I paid uh, $28 for this album, so expectations are in the $28 range, I guess. Uh, and the other piece is, I ordered it, or I won it on an auction about a month and a half ago, it feels like. The seller was on vacation, they told me, after the fact. And so, uh, I kind of forgot about this one and I don't really, uh, have a firm recollection in mind about what all is in here. <laughs> I, I did not go back and review. I thought I would, uh, keep it as a surprise so that we can go through it together. I am going to go ahead and assume that there was something in here I noticed that led me to uh, take a chance on it. Uh, but I do know that it was $28, so... didn't take too much work <clears throat> okay well I got the plastic bag off <laughs> oh there's more tape oh goodness oh my gosh this, I tell you she ships it to me a month and a half after I bid, or I win the auction, <laughs> and she sent it in a, oh, it's like a, I'm reminded of when I did a sixth grade science fair experiment where you dropped an egg off the roof of the school and tried to see if you could get it to survive the fall. Oh, okay. There we go. Here is an album. <laughs> I am, I am very excited now to see what's in it. Let me catch my breath. All right, let's see. What did I do here? $28. Here's hoping I find something fun. All right. Bunch of loose stamps. Okay. <laughs> Bunch of loose, very common looking stamps. Just chucked into the front of the book. All right. Well, there you go. Little bit of stamps to go through <laughs> later. Or maybe put in my bin. All right, now. See back of that country. In very back of book, see bottom of the page. Oh, cool. So whoever did this had us a little... Whoever put this album together has a little legend at the beginning to be a guide through their collection. That's nice. And, uh... That's a nice two cent. I like that. It looks to be in pretty decent shape. I like that a lot. I 
I love those the National Parks series. I just think they're beautiful. Western Telegraph Company. That's a cut square. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Tobacco, cool. I like that. You don't see those every day. That's cool. I'll find a home for that in my book. I like those tobacco stamps a lot. That's cool. Ooh, a nice special delivery. And a really old postage due. That's cool. Wow. Look at those rectified spirits of Puerto Rico. I've never seen those before. Those are pretty cool. That's cool. I've never seen that before. And some great revenue stamps, too. Nice. Look at the cancel on that. That's cool. 1860. No. Yes, 1869. A printed cancel like that. That's pretty cool. It's Schnuckdart and Sons or something. I'm reading upside down. That's that's kind of unique. Most often you don't see a stamped cancel like that on uh, revenue stamps, or at least I haven't. Typically you see like little handwritten cancels. That I like that a lot. This is a cool page. A 50 cent. I love revenue stamps. That's cool. More. Documentary stamp really faded. That's neat. More cigarette stamps. I don't have many cigarette stamps, so that's cool. I think that's really cool. And I do get a kick out of documentary stamps. Nice. Nice. All right, a nice little back of the book section from the United States. I like that. Well, all right, I'm already feeling pretty good about this $28 book. Hey, kangaroos, cool. Oh, I like that a lot. The three, three pence, right? Three and the two and a half, uh, depending on the perforations. That could be a nice one right there. And a five. That is really cool. Nice little Australia section there. I like that a lot. Oh, okay. 28, I'm feeling pretty good here. It was worth my weight. <laughs> it was like a month and a half. I mean, she really took her time. <laughs> but she was on vacation, so, you know. Sellers on eBay are certainly able to take vacation. I can be patient. All right, now we're getting more of a typical what you would see from a $20 album. I'm gonna go pretty quick through some of the blank pages. Some queens. Cool. Nice cancel on that one. I like that a lot. That's a pretty stamp. I might actually pull that right now. Yep, it's loose. I like those. I love the queens from Canada. Well, okay. Kangaroos. Queens. And tobacco. 
<laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to know this book as. My Queen's Tobacco and uh, Kangaroos. Ooh, that's a high denomination or higher one from Ceylon. That's cool. I wonder what that is. I've seen that stamp a lot, and I always wonder, what, is it a nut? <laughs> I suppose I could look it up. Coca bean, maybe. Well, this is, I gotta say, it's about typical. For, uh, ooh, some nice uh, postage due from France. Those are nice. That one's new. That one might be a nice stamp. I'm going to pull that one right now. That one might be nice. Oh, that's not going to want to focus. That's a nice one. I like that a lot. In a book like this, what I'm typically looking for is, you know, a handful of stamps that fit within my collection. That's ultimately what I'm hoping for with a, a book like this. That's an old uh, German postal district. I like that. Sucked on the nose. Um, ooh, that's new. I can't recall if this is one of those German stamps that are more sought after in the used or new but that is brand new i like that um so i'm looking for a handful of stamps that will fit within the focuses i have and already so already i feel pretty good about things like you know i got those uh i like those revenue stamps i like the tobacco stamp um i do collect kangaroos and so i will put the kangaroos in with my others and same with the the queens from canada so i'm not i'm not expecting a major find by any means but i am that's a nice one that's beautiful look at that look at that socked on the nose but, you know, even when you're not looking for major finds, this is a beautiful stamp to me. Just socked on the nose. Great condition. That's pretty. I love that. I'll find a home for that. Nice. I like Icelandic stamps a lot. I think their design is beautiful. That's a cool stamp. The 
those are nice. Those are new. That's nice. These are some of my favorite stamps from Japan. And they are, um, they did a, a number of series like these, so I'm not sure which ones are these off the bat. Those are absolutely beautiful. I like those a lot. Oh, those are pretty. Great condition, new. Again, I'm not sure which series these come from, but they are pretty. Oh, what a gorgeous stamp. <laughs> Even though you can get a pretty good sense of the album by now, I still am holding my breath. <laughs> I can't help it. It's like, maybe this is the page. <laughs> and I, I do, I am aware of what the odds are. Um, but I can't help myself. Let me put it this way. I'm a, I'm a fan of a baseball team that loses a lot. <laughs> Just put it at that. And, uh, you know, rooting for a team that doesn't win all the time uh, teaches you how to find joy in the little moments throughout the game itself. And so even if you uh, don't win the game, maybe there's an exciting... Not sure what that overprint is. Maybe there's an exciting uh, play in the field or a home run or a, something that is worth. Those are nice. I think those are semi postals and I think that's the higher denomination. That's a nice stamp. So, this is my point. <laughs> Even within an album that, you know, I'm not finding anything too uh, rare you can still find things that are very, very cool because stamp collecting and stamps are endlessly fascinating, even the ones that are more common. And this is a nice set of four right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Brand new, great condition. I like that a lot. Those are cool too, CTOs. <laughs> All right, so there you go. It's cigarettes, queens, uh, kangaroos, and the Russian stamps. <laughs> that's, that's what I found in this book. And that, you know, all told, that adds up to $28 for me. <laughs> Along with the joy of just being able to go through a book and hope and see and find and discover. I just love it. I just Those are cool. I like those stamps a lot. Very common, but beautiful stamps.
And there you go. There might be a couple in the back, it looks like. Oh. Nice. I am pleased. You know, for $28, my expectations were about exactly met. I found a couple of very nice stamps that I will definitely find. I am pretty pleased with this, uh, this section right here. This is a nice little section for my USA collection. I don't have a few of these tobacco stamps, so that's exciting. I do love kangaroos, so that's a nice find for me too. A nice old postage due right there. And, you know, throughout a handful of interesting stamps. So I'm pleased. You know, I, 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 uh, I think that's cool too. That cancel is really cool. So in overall enjoyable. And, uh, and I thank you for joining me on another album opening. If you enjoyed it, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. It means a great deal to me. And until next time, take care.